Welcome to another Siege World War II update video. Once again, we're eager to bring you a new update as we continue to expand your battlefield options. In this video, we'll be showcasing a new card as well as some exciting balance changes we believe will enhance the tactical gameplay of Siege World War II. First up, coming out of the Prestige Tier preview status and into the general release, we've got the War Hero. Covered in previous updates, the War Hero is a 4-cost, heroic tactic card now available in Tier 4. New for this season, the AT Gunner enters the exclusivity of Legend Tier Preview. The AT Gunner is a 1-cost, rare troop card. When played, this infantry unit will march forward and fire a powerful anti-tank grenade at the first vehicle it comes into contact with. It will not capture points until its grenade is launched. When compared to other one-cost troops, the AT Gunner has a lower spawn count and deals less damage after the initial grenade is launched. This troop is all about initial burst damage. Playing it at the right opportunity so that it can launch that first grenade is a must. This update also introduces many important balance enhancements. We are always looking to promote more exciting battles while amplifying the tactical depth of the game. First up, Last Stand still felt a bit weak even from the buff to its duration last season, so we're increasing its max absorb damage. Watchtower's supply cost proved to be too much. We're decreasing its cost in hopes that it'll facilitate more deck builds. Half-Track's infantry damage is getting a boost to be prepared for an anticipated increase in infantry-based decks based on coming balance changes between troops and tanks. This will serve as a great way to get troops onto the field faster, while still being able to fend off incoming troop assaults. Flamethrowers will spawn one less unit due to their current effectiveness in numbers, even after reverting its buffs from previous seasons. By increasing its range dramatically, we're making Rocket Launcher a hard counter to all tanks this season in an attempt to channel a more streamlined meta. The mini tank's damage and health is being boosted this season to match an anticipated increase in infantry use. The heavy tank's range was dramatically nerfed last season, so we're reverting some of it back to make heavy tanks more capable in a fight. We believe the medium tank's range should not surpass the range of a heavy tank, so we've reduced it to be equal to the heavy tank. We're increasing the flame tank's building damage in an attempt to promote it as a better anti-building option this season. Due to the range nerfs to other tanks, we're reducing the range of the tank destroyer as well, but not less than the range of the super heavy tank. Aside from these highlights, we have several other balance changes we believe will enhance the game experience in this update. You can take a look at the specifics in our blog post linked in the description. There's also a link to our Discord where you can discuss this update with other players. Thanks for joining us, and subscribe to our channel for more news and updates on all things Siege World War II.